Yes, sir. One of the things, uh, as I came out of the month to educate myself, to give back, is to do what I do, and that, and that I see my calling now. You know, I can very well uh, go elsewhere and make a whole bunch of money, but who, who, who wants that? You know, like my father wanted me to go to law school, you know, because he was a, a, a black man, he was a judge, and he was, you know, he wanted me to follow in his footsteps. When he told me to go right, I went left, you know. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that wasn't my calling. This is my calling. You're good at it too. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's awesome. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot better. It's more fulfilling than money to create a relationship with some of my family members here to find out what's going on and see how I can be a maximum service to you. And I don't mean giving you a dollar. You know what I mean? There's other ways of being a service to somebody besides giving you money. You know? now, actually, you know, I, 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 so I do, you know, it all depends who you are. You know, if I see you're growing, I'm going to help you. You know? Um, but if I see you have some work to do, you know, from the from my transition, you know, from my journey, I like to call it a journey, you know, um, I, I'll know right away. You know, I I, I, I tell them they come in my office at uh, 2100 Lakeside and they tell me the story, blah 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 blah. I, I said that one, you know, I use that line. <laughs> you know, don't you, I just look like this. this is all a shell, a mirage. It's all about the inside and your spiritual growth, you know, whatever the case may be. But it couldn't be me, and it took me 21 years to find that. What's your capacity here? Do you have them? Well, um, right now, we, we take three survey count checks, and right now we have 15 people. Mm -hmm. We may get up to 40 the colder it gets, the more people we have. Mm -hmm. um, we can get up to 60. Um, we're just now uh, bringing mats in. This is, uh, again, our third season, so uh, we're open from de December to March. And we also uh, collaborate with uh, St. Paul's on 45th and Franklin, which we, like last year, we did a summer program to keep the relationship running the young mothers that are pregnant. You know, we want to coach them along. I got them in and, and got, I'm the godfather of one of their child today, you know. So these are the blessings that you get up being at service, volunteering, you know, and, and just knowing people, you know. Do you have a, a limit of how many times people can stay? Or? Uh, no, you can, you can come in and seven, so I get here early. Mm -hmm. So if I'm here early, I usually get here at six and I let them in, they can come in. You know, um, come in and sit down, you can spend the night, you have to get up and leave at seven. Then we're only, we pay rent, so um, we only have the building at seven o'clock and we're also connected with Downtown Alliance uh, where the bus may come and pick them up and drop them off at certain spots. You know, um, Saturday morning they have a Saturday breakfast, so sometimes you can just go right across the street. So, you know, so we, we try to we try to cater them, and of course we're working on funding and grants, uh, so we can open up five days. And we are looking for our own building because we're unique, you know, and we want to keep our uniqueness. You know, I do, I do work for Lutheran Ministries; it's a nice place to work. Um, you know, I, I just want to help people. Sometimes you get caught up in the politics and the bureaucracy. And what that does is it limits my family members from getting where they need to be because no one wants to have time for relationships because I want a paycheck. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, so. Are there anybody, is there anybody that you refuse? Why? Refuse? No, no. We refuse no one to come in here. If you were to come in here, uh, like, uh, drunk, you know, you can, you can come in and, you know, we encourage you, that's why we have a staff, to lay down. We're not going to throw you out. Now, it, it, of course, it's due to structures that you're violent, you know, we're going to ask you to leave. I'm not a person that likes to call the police. You know, I, I think it's important a person may, if we create a relationship, then we can very well just talk to him. I don't care how drunk you are, you know, you can, you can talk to him and you feel like he can't get through to you, then we're going to have to ask you to leave. Or, Take you to 2100, you know, and they might be open enough to get you a bed. But you never know because you have to understand um, our, our men and women that come in here and break things and, and pain and suffering from off the street in here. Mm -hmm. You know, they might run into somebody that they have got an occupation with. Mm -hmm. So you never know. But, uh, you know, thank God we have, we have, we've been blessed not to have any, any serious anything, you know, like mm -hmm. a, a family, you know, and all families are dysfunctional. You know, and I, <laughs> in, in, in a sense, you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. well, uh, how about if we go? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um,